Okay, so this should be a slightly more interesting bubble sort shuffle, right? So I have my elements in my array, and I'm just going to go through and pairwise ask, is one bigger than eight? Yes. No. No. <laughs> so those are in the right order. Is eight bigger than six? Yes. Yes. So I'm going to switch six and eight, and then I'm going to ask that with eight and one. Right, so I have this kind of big card, right, this eight, and that's going to float through all the cards that are smaller than it, right? So I'm going to switch eight and one, and then I'm going to look at eight and eight. So the, those are the same, so I'm not going to switch those. We made it equal. So now is eight six, or is eight smaller than six? No. No. no? So I should switch those. So I switch those, and then eight and three? No. Switch. Switch. And eight and nine, good to go. Start back over. So it skipped, so it didn't focus on the second eight and left the first eight alone, right? When it hit the two eights. Yeah, so and like that, skipping. Uh, it depends on whether you put the, a less than or equal to or just a less than in your code. Okay. Right, but either way, it's basically the same algorithm. But the idea is you kind of walk along until you find a card that's out of place, right? Like, so I'm going to kind of think about this six is out of place, obviously, because there's a smaller card that's past it. So I'm going to switch that, and I'll keep that big card moving until I find a bigger card, right? And then I'll keep that bigger card moving until it runs into a bigger card. And so what this thing does is it kind of pushes all the big cards to the, to the end of the array, right? You okay, guys see that? And this small stuff just like floats to the front. That's cool, that? Mm -hmm. So this one feels and looks a little backwards. Right? When you code this in processing, it seems like it's sorting the big stuff first, right? But it's really just kind of moving the big stuff further right at every stage. And the small stuff is floating left through those switches. Does that kind of make sense? Okay.